So you've run out of things to do. This is uh, a Noahide sermon, so you've run out of things to do. Well, you do them again, don't you? So there you are at the end of the day, and you've had a long day, and you've served the Lord, perhaps, or you've worked your job, and you've done your family thing, and you watched your movie, and there's this, this thing which so many of us know, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, sort of sitting there at the end of a, end of a week, it's like Friday afternoon, you've got home from work, and you just relax, and it's like, uh, or sometimes on Saturday afternoon, it's like, uh, to sort of, not really empty or dry, it's just sort of, uh, sort of, so you sort of had enough, but you, you can make enough living, but you've had enough, and it's like, you know, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. You've had enough, so what do you do? Well, you choose life. In the end, you don't let the devil have, have, have his playground with your boredom. The devil enters in on boring playgrounds. And obviously, there's lots of sweet temptations. Or whoever does it, it's just life, I suppose. How God created the system. But, um... Do something useful. And do something which is going to entertain you. And do something which is decent. Get back into the grind. Get back into the routine. The success of eternal life is not in the glory of endless wealth. It's it's in the glory of wealth, which is enough wealth. But having a routine which manages it. Like it is with Meludial in the Angel Saga, in the latter stories. With her timetabled life, she's got a routine. You plan it out. And you follow the plan. And if, if you're scratching around for something to do with some spare time, do a routine thing. Something you need to do on a routine. Sometimes, alright, there's a bit of mess in the house. Clean it up. You haven't looked at that book for a while. Have a look at that book. You haven't heard that album in four years. Listen to that album. Get on with it. Get going. Run with something. Keep yourself active. Keep yourself busy. Get into a routine. Get into a flow of things. Keep life oriented. The boring bits are part of life, especially when we're young, when we haven't worked out what to do much yet. But keep it going. Keep on running with it. Keep yourself active. Keep yourself busy. The depression can come in, but if you keep yourself active and busy and thinking positive thoughts about life and doing productive things, or things which are positive enough in life, the devil won't have its playground, or temptation of sin won't have its playground on you. Get into a routine. Keep yourself busy. Don't always go for the comfort food. Go for, go for something else which is a physical thing. Just kind of have a cup of tea. Get into a, a, a thing. Maybe write, write it down some notes or something. Or, you know, watch a movie. Listen to a nice musical album. Get, get into doing something. If you're lonely and you're on your own, get into doing something. Keep yourself busy. Don't have the house. Uh, do a project you put off. Keep in a routine. And a, a secret of navigating eternity is stay active. If you're, if you're finding boring bits, stay active, get into a routine, and if you need a lot of things to do, be like Meludial. Get some time enabling, think about all the things that you know you can do, and you, you do, and get some routine, and establish ways of doing things, and get stuck in and go with the flow, and stay active. It keeps the ball rolling, and when you've learned that you enjoy life enough anyway, You'll do it because it's worth doing to keep the flow going. Don't let the boring bits dominate. Get into your routine.